there you have it, folks. W waited up for two hours, you know, or not that I was going to go to bed or anything, but, you know, waited with excitement, felt pure joy in my heart to find out what other fight is going to be announced. And for UFC 300, we have, who is it, Dino? Please tell them. Zhang Wei Li versus Yan Zhao Nan, the banger of all bangers. It's a good fight. No, it's a great fight. It's just like two hours was a lot of time to be waiting for that. It's a little bit of a letdown. I was kind of hoping we'd get Wei Li and Grasso. That's where my yeah. mind was at, but, you know, here we are. Yeah, I was definitely hoping for the Grasso fight, just the kindest call out of all time to spark that fight. Uh, yeah, this listen, this is a good fight. You know, it's another title fight. I'm down. As far as fights go, it's great. It's just like, you know, don't gas me up and then blue ball me, you know. I, I, was, th I was thinking maybe a, a, a Max Holloway, Justin Gaethje, that would have been fun or, you know, something like that. Thank God it wasn't Leon versus Bilal, though. I would rather watch this fight than Leon versus Bilal, I'll tell you that much. Look, Dino, I I think Leon and Bilal is still going to get announced for this card, right? But it, it will. He didn't say that this was the co-main event. He just said this is on there. So it's a title fight. I can see the co-main being Leon and Bilal. But that leads to the question we've been all kind of like contemplating for all this time now, right? Yeah. Who's the main event? Because to me, Leon and Bilal are like, you know, not taking anything away from them, but they're a little too small to be the main event of 300. And I don't mean in physical size. I just mean in like in terms of popularity, in terms of name value. It, that's not good enough for UFC 300 for me. So I'm kind of leaning towards Alex Pereira, Israel Adesanya at this point, but it seems like every day we're just getting like a curveball thrown at us. And yeah, I, like huge way Lee fan, but just kind of disappointed in this. Yeah. Yeah. To, to guess up the announcement and then for it to be this, you know, just, uh, you know, it is what it is. You expect a little bit more, especially knowing that Francis and Ganu, um, you know, is, is his name has been thrown around a lot lately again, too. So, you know, how Dana does it when, when you start mentioning Francis and Ganu, but right. yeah, I mean, you know, I guess the only other thing that we can hope for for UFC 300 would be I don't know if that's even a real rumor, but Tom Aspinall, Alex Pereira, do you think there's anything to that? I don't think so, man. Uh, Alex Pereira recently came out and said, like, it's too early for me to move to heavyweight. I mean, the guy walks around at 230 pounds. So this whole narrative of him being a natural heavyweight, to me, that's bullshit. Because if you guys know the sport, I know you obviously know the sport, but like you got to cut some weight, right? And I yeah. know at heavyweight you don't necessarily have to, but 230. Alex is a big guy. I mean, but. Dude, he yeah. was huge for middleweight. He's big for 205, but he's small for heavyweight. Some of those mm. guys are cutting to make 264. You think of guys like Curtis Blades and, and, you know, guys at the top of that division, a lot of those guys are monsters and naturally outweigh Alex Pereira by 50 pounds. So I think heavyweight is a bit of a stretch, especially for a guy like adding what you saw. It took John Jones three years to get that weight up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I agree, man. I agree. Let's see. You know, UFC 300 isn't kind of what I was hoping it would be at this point, but you know, again, let's hope Jim Miller doesn't get hurt this weekend. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. You that's know, the biggest I, thing. we need to at least see that. But yeah, a little bit of a disappointment so far. I don't doubt the UFC and Dana White's ability to put something together last minute, but especially, yeah, I, I don't think they're going to, you know, let us down completely. I still have high hopes. Well, he said tomorrow there's going to be more fight announcements. So tomorrow at fucking 3 a.m., me and you'll still be waiting because it's got to be bigger than this. So he's going to drag that on a little longer than he dragged this one. I think we know that. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. Well, that's it. Just kind of wanted to touch on the fight. You know, obviously it was just announced. So, you know, interesting stuff. We'll see how it goes. Looking forward to the fight announcements tomorrow. Dino Bam Bam, do you want to take us out? Yeah. Do you have anything so else to say? No, nothing else to say about this. I like Wei Lee, so I'm kind of down, but I like Wei Lee a lot. That that's pretty much it. I like Yan too. Yeah, I mean she she's fun. That's gonna be a good fight. Like, don't get it twisted. The the quality of that fight is gonna be unreal. Like it's top yeah. notch women's MMA. I'm cool I with still... 300 having a women's fight on the card. I'm cool with it being these two. Like, take that and throw it away. It's just like, man, like you really blue balled us on this announcement. That's that's just like yeah. The, that's Big how time. 
Yeah. Big time. Also, for what it's worth, I do think that Whaley will win. You know, Giannis, she's got really good striking. She's got good power. She's really good all around. But I just think Whaley's ground game and her pressure is going to be – and the, 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 the big fight experience. You know what I mean? I just think it's going to yeah. be a little too much. But I think it will be a good fight. Yeah, and we're going to give our full breakdown, obviously, when that time comes for UFC 300. So what a great way to segue into signing off here. If you guys enjoyed and are looking forward to that fight breakdown, do us a favor. Hit the little subscribe button. Ring the bell. Dino, have we ever done a virtual bell? <laughs> there it is. There's the virtual bell. Ring that bell. That's going to notify you when those videos drop. Guys, full card breakdowns. MMA casuals. Tomorrow, DS is dropping his first DS parlay of the week or whatever he's going to call right. it. That's so right. That's right. That's right. Do all that shit. Follow us on Instagram at D107MMA. Let's hope for better news tomorrow, guys. He is the S. I'm Bam Bam. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.